In the 1930s, American aviation designer Vincent Bernelli was exploring the technology of wing body integration. He hoped to integrate the fuselage and wings into one through special design, generating lift together during flight to enhance the aircraft's performance. For this purpose, he designed and built the UB-14 experimental aircraft. The UB-14 may not be the most legendary aircraft in aviation history, but it is certainly one of the most unique in appearance. This was an experimental passenger aircraft, and the entire design is very similar to a bat. Although we have previously introduced another glider, the XCG-16, which is also similar to a bat, the UB-14 is even more so. The aircraft adopts a full metal structure with a hard aluminum skin, a single upper wing design with a forward-swept leading edge and a rearward-swept trailing edge. The shape is somewhat similar to a delta wing, but with a larger wingspan. The fuselage is completely integrated with the wing root, and the independent two-person cockpit is located above the front of the fuselage. Inside the fuselage is a cabin that can accommodate 14 to 18 passengers, measuring 3.33 meters long, 3.64 meters wide, and 1.62 meters high. The cabin is equipped with lighting and heating equipment, and there is also a toilet and luggage compartment at the rear of the cabin. The engine nacelles protrude from the front sides of the fuselage, and a raised twin tail support structure is used at the rear. The landing gear is a fixed tailwheel type, with the main gear attached to the underside of the wing with support structure. A total of three prototype aircraft were built for the UB-14, each one an improvement on the previous. The first prototype made its maiden flight in 1934, powered by two Pratt and Whitney R 1690 radial piston engines, each producing 750 horsepower, which was sufficient for the passenger aircraft with a weight just slightly over 4,000 kilograms. However, the first prototype was destroyed during a flight in 1935 due to improper maintenance of the aileron control system. Bernelli was not discouraged and immediately made some modifications to build the second UB-14B, which later used two Bristol Perseus XIVC radial engines for power. This series of engines initially produced 580 horsepower, but later were capable of 1200 horsepower. Based on the time of the appearance of the UB-14B, it may have used the 810 horsepower version. The latter two aircraft modified the tail fin, engine cowling, and other structures, and were tested and marketed for several years in the late 1930s, even in Europe. An application for a transatlantic flight test was made, but not approved due to issues with takeoff performance and manufacturing processes. After the outbreak of World War II, the UB-14 still had many unresolved issues and was not yet ready for mass production. It carried out some transport missions in the early stages of the war, but all work was destroyed by the war, and this flying bat came to nothing. The UB-14B had an empty weight of 9,200 pounds, 4,173 kilograms, a maximum takeoff weight of 17,500 pounds, 7,938 kilograms, a length of 13.41 meters, a height of 3.05 meters, a wingspan of 21.64 meters, a maximum speed of 383 kilometers per hour, a cruising speed of 330 kilometers per hour, and a maximum range of approximately 2,000 kilometers.